Hey, how's it going guys? Nick here with another video. Today is November 3rd and that means it is iPhone 10 day. So it just came here. I'm going to sit down. We're going to open it. I'm going to go through some thoughts, first impression, setup, whatever. I'm excited. Get excited. Let's go. All right. So this just came in the mail. It's the iPhone 10. I'm super excited. I have been rocking the 8 now for a few weeks, but this is the one, the one we want. So let's go. Now I did have to sell a kidney to um afford this, but you know, whatever. And boom, knife. Yeah. There it is, iPhone 10. Let's uh, let's get into it. Ooh, it's satisfying. Yeah. As always, we get our literature, which is you know it's not very interesting. Got Apple stickers. Fantastic. We always need more stickers. Over there. In here, in the box, we have the device itself. Oh dear, it looks incredible very quickly off to the side just to get through the rest of the stuff and nothing new in there. We have our adapter, we have our headphones and on the back of the headphones, we've got our lightning cable and of course our dongle because, you know, for people that use normal headphones. So this is it. It feels really, really good in the hand, just sort of off the bat and the Sort of the white, I don't know if you can, it's silver, but definitely feels closer to like more of a light gray sort of white, but man, that stainless steel around the edge, it's tasty. And you know, in terms of size comparison, if I hold these two up, they're, that's an eight and a 10, and they're very similar in size. I think very, very similar, but it has a really, it's really good heft to it. So, we're gonna um, peel it, peel the uh, plastic off. And this is the satisfying part. So. Oh. That's the stuff dreams are made of. All right, so. Gonna turn it on. It feels so good in the hand, it's not even funny. Wow. Just like, it's ridiculous. It actually looks like a picture in the sense that it's not, doesn't feel like it's a screen. All right. So I'm gonna run through the setup process and I will be back with the phone set up and run through some of my thoughts. Six hours later. All right. So first off, we're gonna set up Face ID and see how that works. So, if you want to settings. All right. So, pretty easy. Face ID is now set. Uh, see how fast it works. Yeah, pretty quick. It's very quick. So the moment you look at it, it's unlocked. And if you swipe up, it's a lot faster as well, rather than sort of just staring at your phone. But yeah, no, it works really well. That's good. You just swipe up to throw apps away. You can swipe across the bottom to switch apps, a little bit of a hold. You know, I think it's really quite quick. So to get the control center, it's sort of annoying. It's right at the top corner. You really got to stretch. But if you turn on reachability, it makes it a bit easier because I'm really excited. That notch isn't as much of a problem as I thought. And look, apps seem to, Instagram's fine, YouTube's fine, Snapchat. Look, they all seem to work really well with it. So I'm excited to put this through its paces and bring you guys a full review in the coming weeks. Interested to see how the battery goes. Obviously, you've got a higher resolution display on this bad boy than any 
iPhone before it. I'm not gonna give you the numbers because it's a weird Apple aspect ratio, but it's up there, but it's an OLED screen, which means should be better at, well, should be more power efficient, which means better battery. So I'm excited to see how that goes. And before I do go, I picked up one other thing for this, and that is the iPhone 10 leather case. Now, I'm not one to rock cases on my phone, but this one did cost me a kidney. So, and there you have it. The iPhone 10 looks really good in this. Really, really nice, really excited. If you enjoyed this video, guys, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see this review dropping, like I said, in a week or two. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.